Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of My Current Household. Uh, I know I've been uploading and recording a lot of my other um, things that I have going on right now, but I've also been having a lot of fun trying to, you know, build a home with little money. Um, but I'm going to do another, just a different video today just because uh, I know you guys are probably getting sick and tired of seeing just that other one pop up, so... Um, and it's been a while since I've visited this family, uh, my current household here. Um, so yeah, if you didn't recognize the house, that's what this is. And, yeah. So, here, just to remind everybody, is the dad of the house. His name is Keenan Parada. Um, he is currently a public enemy. Uh, that's his aspiration. His job is a level four of the criminal career. He's a felonist monk. Uh, then his wife, who is currently at work, her name is Rosa. Um, she is a level four interior decorator. Also, if you hear that loud noise, it is my kitten. She's playing with a ball. Uh, so I'm trying to be a bit louder than her. Uh, so hopefully it works. I, I don't know. Uh, then we have our eldest daughter, who's not actually Kenan's. It's somebody else's that she had before Kenan and her got together. Her name is Nyla. She's a C student in school. She wants to have a mansion baron. Uh, she's kind of halfway there in terms of simoleons. And then we have to actually work on our landscaping. Uh, which I could probably do here. I have $5,000 worth of landscape. Uh, and we only have currently $415 worth of landscape. Which I think is just all of this fun activity stuff outside. Um, I might be able to put some stones down and like make a stone path or something. So hopefully we can get, can get that. Uh, that's going to really wreck our money right now. But I want to help her get her aspiration completed. Then we have the next one here, Noah. He is a rambunctious scamp. He is very angry because he does not like video games, but for his aspiration, he has to play a video game. Uh, he is a C student as well. Then we have little Ryder down here, who actually I believe today is his birthday. He is about to be a child. Um, so yeah, he's, he's super cute and he really doesn't have an aspiration yet. Um, he learned all he could as a toddler, which is great. I love when all of my kids have, um, have the, oh, well, I guess she didn't have it. I like when all of my kids have the happy toddler thing. Oh, I didn't know that this was something new. Oh, that's cute. I'll have to look at those. But I've, all of my current kids have Top Moss Toddler. Um, and then we have little Sunny in here, who is just a little baby. And I think her birthday might also be today as well. So, I want to go over their traits because it looks to, be, to me like there's new stuff here from the update. Um, so he is squeamish, childish, kleptomaniac. He has an inspector lifestyle. He's a hack toddler. He is a... Uh, he is a warlock, so he is an ancient bloodline. He has raspy lungs, dastardly, and he has the fear of a dead-end job. He is questioning whether or not there is a future with his career. He and his job performance will suffer, and he will return from work sad. She has a wiggly stomach, is good mannered, the doer, responsibility, a responsible, mentally gifted, high maintenance, cheerful, and neat. Then Nyla is perfect or perfectionist, materialistic, not talented, or so she thinks. A craftsman, fear of fire, weak bladder, and business savvy. Then little Noah here, child of the islands, the thinker, uh, age of bloodline, top notch toddler, icky back, and he has a fear of the dark. Uh, Noah will be afraid during the nighttime and may struggle to stay asleep. Any little bump in the night will wake him up. 
Then we have little Ryder, who is silly and into bloodline and gassy. Belly. And we don't know too much of what Sunny will be yet. So. Right now we just have these two. Oh, and I forgot probably one of the most important members of our family. Little Miss Chip. Or Nacho. Nacho. She had kids named Chip and Cheese, because, you know, nachos and cheese. Yeah, Chip, or Cheese, Nacho. Nacho, Nacho. That's really cute that she's just laying next to him while he's going in. So I think, because he's getting pretty up there, like, he's almost an adult. She's almost an adult. Again, my kitten is very loud. Uh, she's actually almost a young adult. He's gonna be a teen here soon. And Ryder is almost a child, and he's almost, or she's almost a toddler. I think I'm gonna continue on, like, from these guys with Sunny when she gets older. Um, but obviously, I have to let her age all the way up to a, um,. A young adult before that can happen, which I think these two are gonna be quite old by the time she's a, you know, young adult. But I think it'd be kind of fun to continue with her. Um, and our sister's telling us that we've got a bad reputation, which oh no, for us. I'm gonna make him stop playing because he does not seem to be having a good time on there. Um. It brought his motor skill from level 6 to level 8, though. I want him to have some fun, like, not hating life, so... Ooh, Sarsuya! I want him to at least make it across the monkey bars three times. Which I think he has no issue. Oh. I say and then he falls. So maybe he has more issue on the monkey bars than I know of. Um, okay, one. We got one coming, maybe? Okay, one. He did once. Quit. He keeps doing, like, the fancy tricks. And that's what's gonna make him fall, is if he keeps doing the fancy tricks. And I just wanna see if he can do it. Oh, and we did it. <laughs> so we're going to just let him do this a couple times because he needs to relax and have some fun. But he's also pretty tired. So I'm going to have him use the bathroom. I grab a snack. Uh, some chips. And then he can go find his bed and take a nap because he's getting pretty sleepy. And then he can take a shower and get back out to playing. He's feeling pretty uncomfortable. So I'm going to try to kind of lighten him up and have him get back to having a fun time. Um, let's look at this. Oh. Oh, you big sister. That's really rude. That was really cute. Oh, look how cute. You know, right before he ages up, but that is adorable. Him and him and his sister have actually had quite a few moments that were very cute like that. And it's so cute. It's not like they're super close or anything, but like can you actually play dolls with Nyla? That would be adorable. Constantly scratching. Do you like to tell her to not do that? Let's fill the bowl. Let's use 
bathroom. sandwich because you've actually got to get yourself ready to go to work and I don't actually know if you're going to time to get yourself together in that period of time because you only have half an hour <laughs> Nyla can you step up and like go talk to your baby sister it's kind of gives me a Oh, shishi dog. Urin bow. In gow. Haro gaba. Oh, yep to me. He's off to work. Oh, look, it's your, uh, your aunt, Kevin, who I thought about continuing this with. But I ended up cho choosing Keenan. Oh! Yabba! Dabishi Slacka, Namisa, Kankuya, Shrobi, Shorug, Ah! I want to know if she's with somebody. Fiddleba, Senzini Jalurba, Rinka, Yakalo. Oh wait, Western Boo, Ukede, Kapow! Oh yeah, did. Trinjella Lanji, Pene Vima! Shalbo, Bembi, Guas. Wangle, Fruge, Deuce. Vimpa? Vambu! Adula! Adula! Gaba, Zorkle, Ooze. Ujin, Shalja. Jet. Can't. Oh, Narshka. Ah! Jen Seba. And then we're gonna take <gasps> my little brother. And mom and dad aren't home. I don't know when they'll be home. 9 p.m. for her. Jen Seba. We got promoted, <laughs> so we are the now a space planner. <laughs> Can We're going to age up our baby, though. <laughs> While she makes a cake for her brother. Oh, nice. See, so, yeah, now we make. Ah! But Jelja. <laughs> Can Kuya. Mm -hmm. Let's do bath on the dish. Finn and growl. But Jelja. Jim. Can Kuya. Yatim Boo. Sunny is now a charmer. <laughs> <laughs> 
and we're working on a case here for little little rider. in music, so I'm going to give him a, a... I'm going to randomize. So he's goofball. I think I'm going to give him the creativity thing. Okay. So now those two are aged up. Oh, buddy, I don't know if I need the cake of poor quality. Okay. And we can have mom go out and um... The mail. This room is about to be um, destroyed. Like we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, take this and make that uh, not her room. All right, so we're gonna update some rooms here real quick. We'll go down and do her room first. Okay, so we're gonna do toddler. There's these really cute beds that I forgot about that I had. I'm actually gonna make her like a light blue color. I think that'd be kind of fun. And I'm gonna put like a little um. Take that and there like that. And then we're gonna put some toys. This actually I don't want to spend money on something if I already have it upstairs. So like this one. And then just whoop and move it over here. And then we're gonna take this and go whoop. I don't know why it can sit on top of that. Xylophone can go down. Let's make that. Let's see that one. And then we can take 
like this little, um, this guy here. to it. It does. And then can I stick a little stuff in one here somewhere? So that room is now completely done. Yeah, I like that part right like that Alright, so her room is done. Now we need to go up into his bedroom. We're gonna grab this bed. But we're gonna change it to the color that we want for him. Which um, is red. Oh, he's a Mickey Mouse bed. That's cute. Is there a red here? Oh, that's better, I guess. I don't know. I feel like he's very into music, so like. back there like that. And then you grab him. He needs a dresser. Let's see if we can find the dresser section. Colors of red in this room right now. And then that's fine. Let's stick this. Like, I don't like this one. That's fine. And then we'll give him a couple more toys. Play with in here. Uh, let's get them a violin. chest. I feel like he wouldn't have too much in his room. Like, I feel like he's very minimalistic. Like, with everything he likes, I feel like it's a very minimalistic design. Other than his bed, of course. Or the Mickey. Child. Put some of this paint in his sister's room. Which 
she's just, you know, all about her painting lifestyle. That's just the type of child he is. Like he's very organized. Like his shoes don't leave there, and his I don't know. Oh, that's because my mom breaks out a clock. There's a clock. Who gave him the clock? stuff that he likes and the stuff that he has all has their space and their time to be used. But I also feel like he's kind of an artsy kid. his sister is an artsy child like she has like a whole art studio over here so so cute oh my gosh all right well i feel like this is how he's gonna live for now um uh, and then whatever else we have left here we'll go out and um well i'm gonna get rid of some of these things because they were presents the whole cash would be you know, from dad's job. So we're gonna kind of stick that in the corner of the room. Same thing with the baseball bat. And then we can go down. I'm gonna try to put together a little bit of um, a pathway for her aspiration. are if it's for footprints. You can also move this closer and then put some really like you know deserty trees out.
Stick like this in there. There we go. Just for now, because it gives us $135, and I don't really feel like going much past that because then we're gonna have nothing, and that's not good. So in the next episode, I think I will have them all looking the way they will be in the future, but for now, at least little uh, Sunny here has her own bedroom downstairs. I'm going to have mom kind of put Sunny to bed downstairs. I'm going to just have them all go to bed because it is 12.48 at night, and they can get up in the morning and do what they need to in the morning. And then, yeah, there you go. Everybody's asleep, or should be getting sleep too soon. I don't know why mom is struggling to do what she needs to do. Why can't you take your child down the stairs? Okay. Where are we at here, Sonny? Oh dear, movement. Can I... Can you come pick up Sunny, please? Lisa. And then go here. Why didn't you pick up Sunny? I'm confused. Pick up the child. Fine. Go pick up Sunny. Go pick up Sunny. Listen, child, I'm trying. Pick her up. Maybe? Cool. Now, go here. Put Sunny down here. Okay, now you also sleep. Also sleep. All right. Uh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where did Ryder go? Where did Ryder go? Or Noah? Where did Noah go? Yeah, where's Noah? Where did Noah just straight up disappear to? Noah's gone! What's it mean? Shop boy! What's it mean? What do you mean Noah is sleeping? <laughs> what? Okay. Can we invite... Where's she, Brian? Can we invite her over? You look 
Chumin. I don't understand why Noah just straight up said, no, we're not doing this anymore. Because, yeah, we have two, four, six. We have seven people in this household. I'm so confused. What's happening? Starving? What? 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 like a okay hold on hold 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 the phone you need to <laughs> hold the phone what Remove from family? Add to family. I'm literally so confused. My son just straight up vanished from the household. My, I don't even think they're married yet. Soon to be wife just died almost. Then the cat went, mm, I'm out, bye. And now I can't add my child back to the household. Like, add to family. What? Okay, well, I guess that's just how we live now. <laughs> and then we just got a pop up saying death is inevitable. Inevitable. <laughs> Keenan knows that. Keenan. Oh, and Nyla. So they all basically got it. But anyways, Keenan just didn't think that he would be thinking about it so soon. There's still so much to do. How will Keenan get everything done if death is just around the corner? Is it safer to just hide forever? That must be new because I've never seen that. Oh! Oh, now he's back! He just decided to peace out for a little bit, but that he'd be back. Okay, I I need a moment, so I'm going to end this part here. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comment section below. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and night.